In this video, we explore some of the abandoned buildings in the old Clydesdale mining village that was established somewhere in the 1950s. Wikipedia refers to this place as the old Coldbrook mining village and although there are still some of the houses that are occupied, most of this village now lays abandoned. This village came to an end as the mine had to close with the closing of the Tybos and Highfield power stations in the year 1990. In October of 1996, a Taiwanese businessman bought the entire village and after changing the name to Holy Country, rented out most of the livable housing to people and buildings to businesses. I wonder where the mine, the mining, the, the mine itself. Because we scouted a bit, but there's no mm. signs up to say that there used to be mines. Or I don't think they will build a memorial very far from where the mine used to be. Maybe these old buildings to the right here, that might have been part of like the mining. Um, you think like the offices or something? Mining offices, yeah. admin offices. That's why it's closed off because it's all it's walled basically right around and where there's no walls is uh, palisade so yeah it's walled in so but there's on the outside without giving away too much there's a there's an opening in the fence mm. in that area if we can manage yes. uh, getting in but that's <laughs> going to be a winter shoot probably so yeah i think uh, part of the winter planning check this old fence here on the left I wonder if this was this a house or if it was also an office because it's... Uh, that, that looks more like a, like a house to me, eh? Oh, but look at the danger mm. stripes on the, on the wall. It's something it's else. White, so it was, uh, that's for your fire, uh, your extinguishers. Yes. So that definitely was an, uh, an office of some, uh, some, of some sort. Um, yeah. This is awesome, eh? I want to get a close-up of this machine. It's got like a, a cutting tool in front, so I think they used to, uh, maybe in the tunnels, I don't know underground mining very well, but the, if you look at the height of it, somebody steered it, mm. and you look at the front of it. It's like a massive chainsaw. In mm. It's a, it's some kind of. You see the controls? Yeah, there's still uh, levers and stuff. I'm gonna walk around and just see if there's something from the other side. Mm. This glass is quite thick, so let's watch your step again. Okay. Shelter from the wind, so mm. I think you'll get the drone and get a few nice close ups of the yes. drone as well. Yeah, we need some drone footage of this. I don't, I don't feel like stepping into this. I don't know I'm what. I'm gonna I'm see if I can get there. Oh. Hurting myself, yeah? yeah, winter is almost. Uh, we don't like winter because I don't like the cold, but um, for exploration it's better because the grass is all dead. So. Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so I don't know who Jeffrey is, but uh, well done, Jeffrey. You see this? 
it looks like whoever drove it or operated it had to stand or sit here. Maybe there was like a chair section huh? out on a little pedestal. You something. think on the on the side? Like one of those tractor chairs. Yes. The, the tractor seats that mm. sit on a pedestal. So you sit on the outside. Because the levers are showing towards to the to the um, to the other side, so you had to sit on this side. This is interesting. Eh? So ten liters of diesel and a little bit of oil. And the tires are still in fit. Uh, good to go. Yeah, start it up and see if we can mine something. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can get inside. We can have an open door. That's first price. <laughs> Yo. bars in front of the wheels. Mm. So I'm sure if I suck in my tummy I can crawl through but I'm not gonna I mean do these that. this is definitely offices because if yeah. you look at the desks this desk right around you guys can see inside and uh, yeah sorry for if the sound is not to the best of what we can get of, because of the wind um, it is quite windy outside today. So there seems to be like a water into something here, so don't step. If you get on the mm. concrete here, just one just step there. Okay. The window. It looks like there's an influence here. Is it? Okay, awesome. Um, look further, look further, look further, and that might be the entrance on the left. Yeah, open window, that might be the way in. Strange to have only a front door, I mean, there's no back door. Yes, okay, but I think. Uh, this must have also been a post office or a bank of some sorts, because I mean, look at this, like where you put, you can put stuff through mm. here and get it back. This uh, is just blocked off now by probably yeah. drywalling, walling, but uh, this was a, a window to protect the guy on the other side. Uh, there's a huge wasp nest here, so, so... I think we need to move on. And just not one, there's like there's, one, two, uh, three, four, well, five, six. Follow this to the left side. And we need to look to the right. Okay, there's another so three, like four, five nests. You definitely don't want to angry these guys. I way to go, so yeah. there's one on the ground here, so don't step on that. Give you guys a closer look at this. Okay, let us come. Let's get out. Yeah, they're already busy climbing, eh? Right? Yeah. Come, let's get away here. Yeah. You're gonna get uh, one or two or three stings you don't want to. What do you think we're gonna go around the back? Enter through the window and see. It's another wasp nest. Just to show what it looked like. There's a lot of them, eh? Yeah, so guys with the wasp situation. Give you guys a shot to this side. This is awesome. Nothing inside to see though, so we're not gonna try and get inside because there's nothing worth seeing, so. Okay, 
this house through. This is the, it's big enough for myself to get through. Oh, invitation to go and explore. Check the Check out the burglar, uh, the burglar proof here. Yeah, so this could have been like really pool tables or stuff where they exchange money. I think, yeah, it is. Yes. That might be it, eh? Because in most of these mining communities they have shabines, mm. cabins, or some sort of recreational. Scene, yeah. Okay. Cages. Well, a cage. The whole roof has been covered with expanded metal. You guys can see this. Why would they? Cover this whole area with expanded metal, this. You think this could have been like a holding facility? Why else would they do this? I mean, this, there's, a, there's a cage when you come in. Yeah. It's very weird. Eh? And, uh, and all of the rooms are done like this. And you know what? They've got cold storage here as well. The Cold storage, yes. So they could have stored food or something here, and they could keep the guys from moving the place. I have a few clients where they actually climb into the roof of the shop, so they do the ceiling like this, so people can't get through from the, from the roof. This? You think this might be something else? Like a mortuary. Why would you look at the door? The only hinges and locks on doors I've seen like this. Yeah, this is, is, is from a mortuary. Okay, but this one says bulk storage. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, it's a storage facility. If it's a mortuary, there would have been steel or at least some kind of slab for the bodies to be stored on. But check how strange the ceiling is like curved. Yeah, this is very, very strange. And so can walk. Some, some sort of storage, but this one is just Storage, should have been like a, somewhere should be like a generator or doesn't it look like a normal type mm. of cold storage. Look, it's anything is possible, it's not to say they haven't maybe they've used it for one thing and then they it might have been they use it for something yeah. else afterwards, but uh, the walls are thick. Eh? Sure. It might have been just a safe at one point and Decided to use it for, for cold storage. Yeah. All the spider webs and. like the control unit for the that might have been for the cold storage and that's uh, 
Ja, und sie sieht ja, so this was for this area mm. normally. And then on the top three, I don't know what there is. I don't know like what. A, it's just like a box where the wires came to be. Mm. Like a distribution box or inspection box. But I presume, I presume this was the front door because if you if, if you're walking here, mm. there's toilet facilities. And then it says there's staff only, so presumably on this point only allowed the staff to come in. This must have been like a shop of some sort, mm -hmm. because I think this is what they use for storage for. Mm -hmm. And then through here they would bring people where they would purchase like a packet of meat or the chips or the cool ring. Keep in mind where we are. Yeah. I think Usually you'll see this type of um, measure for security in your rural, area, rural areas with those uh, what they call cooker shops. Yes. They will basically reinforce and yeah, um, secure. Support. Yeah, they, and they break open, open the roof, come through the roof, through the windows. So I think the first assessment of this is right. This was a, a shop or a recreational facility. Usually mines go three to four shifts. Yeah. So if you're running a shift of 400 men, yeah. times that by four, yeah. times that by an average of three people per household, yeah. this was quite a, uh, a big community. A so big a community, big, yes. Big yes, shop, yes. Big yes. Community, yeah. So a sponsor shop is like a shopping center for you guys overseas. I don't know, mm. it's like not a shopping center, like a grocery shop basically. So Mm. They can buy cigarettes and they can buy like, thin food, they can buy maybe some packets of meat. Yeah, usually, and also tinned and uh, tin food yeah. uh, and stuff yeah. like bags of maize meal and that kind of stuff. Mind stepping on these boards because there's, yeah, there's nails everywhere. Out. So, if you step on this, so let's just check for nails, eh? Okay. okay. Larissa is already enjoying herself. What do you think, Larissa? Awesome. awesome. This is very cool. Like a little. So let's see what we can find inside. Eh? Workbench. Measurements. Mm. 
Smaller is out of the same era. Yeah. There's no draft or anything, so see one of the trusses. It's already rotten and well missing. I mean this is you can see this whole piece of the roof is starting to sag on the side. That white stuff on the roof is painful. Uh-uh, no, it's definitely paint. You see the tin mm -hmm. but it's also getting holes mm -hmm. in the rust, so but the wood's definitely rust and it's not gonna be long as yeah, you can see the in the center is already starting to open up yeah, it's cracking and it's gonna split yeah. so that one truss there is already missing there. And this um, this roof ball. with uh, with some poles so uh, I wonder, do you think there's something, something on the other side? Let's see if it's open. Let's see. Yo, oh, the sun is... It's bright, eh? Oh, no, it's locked. No, it's locked yeah, so so it's there's something there. inside there. Eh? We're not gonna mm. break stuff. So. No, no, no. You see anything? 